of Blackwood Manor, a true horror story. Nestled in the dense woods of rural England, Blackwood Manor had long been abandoned, its dark silhouette a stark contrast against the lush greenery. The manor had a reputation. Locals whispered about it, parents warned their children to stay away, and even the bravest dared not approach after dark. Its history was shrouded in mystery, with tales of sudden disappearances, strange occurrences, and a lingering presence that defied explanation. In the early 1900s, Blackwood Manor was the grand estate of the Blackwood family, who were known for their wealth and eccentricity. The patriarch, Lord Henry Blackwood, was an avid collector of rare artifacts and had a particular interest in the occult. His fascination with the supernatural led him to acquire objects said to be cursed, including an ancient mirror reputed to trap the souls of those who gazed into it. The manor's downfall began with the tragic death of Lord Henry's daughter, Eleanor, who mysteriously vanished one stormy night. Her disappearance marked the beginning of a series of inexplicable events. Servants reported hearing Eleanor's voice echoing through the halls. Doors would slam shut on their own, and ghostly apparitions were seen wandering the manor. Terrified, the Blackwood family eventually abandoned the estate, leaving everything behind. Years passed, and Blackwood Manor fell into disrepair, its once magnificent facade now covered in ivy and decay. Despite its eerie reputation, it attracted thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts eager to uncover its secrets. One such group was led by James Cartwright, a well-known paranormal investigator determined to document definitive proof of the supernatural. James and his team arrived at Blackwood Manor on a crisp autumn evening. As they approached the looming structure, a sense of foreboding washed over them. The air grew colder and the forest around them seemed to quiet, as if holding its breath. Undeterred, the team set up their equipment in the grand foyer, its once opulent interior now a shadow of its former glory. The first night was relatively uneventful, with only minor disturbances, cold spots, faint whispers, and the occasional unexplained flicker of their flashlights. But on the second night, everything changed. While reviewing footage from their stationary cameras, the team noticed something chilling. In the background of one shot, a figure stood at the top of the grand staircase. A young woman in a white dress, her eyes hollow and empty. It was Eleanor. Determined to capture more evidence, the team decided to conduct a seance in the manor's drawing room, where Lord Henry had held his occult rituals. They gathered around a large oak table, placing their hands on a Ouija board in the center. As James began the seance, the atmosphere grew heavy, and the temperature dropped sharply. Their breath became visible in the freezing air. Is there anyone here with us? James called out. The planchette moved slowly, spelling out E-L-E-A-N-O-R. Eleanor, what happened to you? James asked his voice steady despite the tension. The planchette moved again, this time more forcefully. T-R-A-P-P-E-D. The team exchanged nervous glances. How can we help you? James pressed. The response was immediate. M-I-R-R-O-R -R -R realization dawned on James. The cursed mirror. They needed to find it and release Eleanor's trapped spirit. The team split up to search the manor. The oppressive silence broken only by the creaking floorboards and their hurried footsteps. James and his colleague, Sarah, made their way to the master bedroom, where the mirror was said to be kept. As they entered the room, they felt an icy chill. There, covered in a thick layer of dust, stood the mirror. Its surface was blackened, as if it had absorbed years of darkness. James approached cautiously. And as he wiped away the dust, a sense of dread filled him. Reflected in the mirror was not his own face, but that of Eleanor, 
her expression bleeding. Eleanor, we're here to help you, James whispered. How do we free you? The mirror surface began to ripple, and Eleanor's voice echoed in the room. Break the mirror. James hesitated. Breaking the mirror could unleash whatever dark forces were trapped within. But seeing the desperation in Eleanor's eyes, he knew there was no other choice. He took a deep breath, picked up a nearby chair, and smashed it into the mirror. The glass shattered with a deafening crash, and a rush of cold air swept through the room, extinguishing their flashlights. For a moment, there was silence. Then, a low, guttural growl emanated from the mirror's remains. Shadows twisted and writhed, coalescing into a dark, menacing figure. The team had not just freed Eleanor, they had unleashed a malevolent entity. James and Sarah backed away slowly, but the entity advanced, its eyes burning with hatred. Just as it seemed all hope was lost, a soft light filled the room. Eleanor's spirit, now free, stood between them and the dark entity. She raised her hand, and with a blinding flash, the entity dissolved into nothingness. The room grew quiet once more. Eleanor turned to James and Sarah, her expression one of gratitude. Thank you, she whispered, before fading away, her spirit finally at peace. The team left Blackwood Manor at dawn, the first rays of sunlight piercing through the gloom. They had come seeking proof of the supernatural, and left with a story that would haunt them forever. Blackwood Manor, now cleansed of its darkness, stood as a testament to the enduring power of hope and the courage to face the unknown.